got my first buck down in Ohio. Oh, oh my god. Well, we just got done at Cabela's here. I uh, lost my rangefinder, so I made a purchase that I didn't want to do. Um, I'm sorry, Melissa, but it happened. Um, anyways, besides that, we also had to buy our tag, so we were trying to just buy it at the same spot. Um, so we're down here at Cabell's right now. CJ and Zach are on their way down. All right, well, we're going to jump in the car and get our ass moving. So we just got in here. Um, it's about 7 o'clock. Well, we got in here a little while ago, but we just got finally settled up. Um, I'm just trying to be quiet because the deer should be moving soon. So I'm going to get down, but I just want to let you guys know what, what we're sort of doing here. So there's this creek bottom right here. And we have a trail camera set up right there. We have not checked the trail camera yet. And sorry, it's going to be a little windy. Um, a storm's rolling in, which is sort of good for us, but uh, it got really chilly really fast. Um, and so we have this creek, and there's two or three little things, little, little puddles of water over there. And the deer like to drink out of smaller little things because they can see, like, big, big, uh, big water holes. They don't tend to like as much. They'll still go to them. But uh, right now, while it's this hot season, early, uh, they're going to like those little small little batches of water that they can get in and, you know, get a little drink but still be able to see stuff. So we have a trail over here on the side of the mountain. And we have a trail running into the creek bed right here. And we have pictures of a buck right up on two ridges up. So we think he's coming down here to bed or around here. Not all the way down to bed, but coming down here to drink and then bed. So it's just pretty much just a cross section of different bedding and food. But um, we're going to get tucked in here and stay quiet and see what happens this morning. I'm not sure if we're going to see too much, but we were pretty loud getting in, unfortunately. First day always goes like that, though. Interesting morning. Um, Vince forgot a few things that we needed. I forgot to remind him about those few things that we needed. Uh, but it worked out. We got up a little later than we wanted to. And then we weren't seeing anything. Vince saw a doe down the creek bed. We don't know where that doe went. And then when we we're about to get down out of the creek bed, we had a doe snort at us and uh, take off. So we sort of got busted in that stand, so we pulled the stand. So we're just waiting for Pat and CJ right now, and we're gonna get going, go check some trail cams, and then, uh, yeah, that's the plan. And then go to public land, uh, start the gilly process of scouting, I guess. Um, I think I have a pretty good idea of what we're gonna try tonight. Um, it's just if there's gonna be a deer there or not. Um, we haven't been there in, I don't know, a year, year and a half now, and so I don't know what it actually is gonna be or what not. But that's just packing up his stand right now. So I think CJ's moving down and he's gonna hit, hit hunt later or hunt here later tonight. So we're waiting for everybody to get out of the woods. We just got out. And we were pretty far back there, so we wanted to get out early, but two does that I texted you about. Oh, we saw those two. Yeah, they got behind me. Good spot for them to go too. We got fucking uh, we got busted getting down. I saw them. Oh, getting down? Sign, so we're not sitting on it and we're gonna keep going. Um, 
who knows if that can bite you in the butt, but it's better than sitting on something that doesn't look fresh, so. Um, you can see we have a lot of land to scout. And our wind is pretty is set up pretty good actually to get to the rest of the public that is just straight oak flats and I think that's what they're gonna be in right now and moving to. So hopefully they're on their way over there through the thick stuff and we'll sort of meet them that way. Um, hopefully we're a little behind them honestly. Cause I think they're bedding right on the other side of this on the leeward side, but there's nothing we can you can't go through that. It'd take for hours to get around, so hopefully we're just gonna pop a little, like a nice just a nice buck. I just wanna shoot a nice buck on public land. In a ghillie suit that I made, you know, that's all I want in life. Well we had uh, one doe come into the acorns for about forty five minutes to an hour feeding. So we still got a couple hours of daylight left, but uh she hung out for a while eating on these white acorns, so hopefully that buck we had on trail camera comes in and uh, we get a shot at him. So we got skunk tonight. We still have a chance we're walking out. We got 30 minutes to already. Right? Maybe have something pop out on its way on the way in, but who knows? Uh, wasn't exactly what we wanted to happen today, but we saw some sign that we got to, we did everything right, honestly, we just, they weren't here, so, um, it's hot, it was hot today, it's still sort of, sort of, uh, sort of warm, so, um, I think they're just staying back in the woods, and it's super thick in the woods here right now, because it's southern Ohio, and early, or late September, so, um, I don't know what the plan is, but we're gonna go get packed up and go grab Pat, probably grab some drinks before we grab Pat, and then uh, head back and go grab dinner and see what everybody else had uh, had happen today. So that's the plan, and uh, we're gonna go down to this guy right there. Hey guys, it's uh, September 29th. It's uh, second day of season down here in Ohio. Me and Ted slipped in here this morning. Ted came in to film me. We hung a stand and uh, we had about five, six, seven does come in. And then we had uh, we had a nice 10 point about 75 yards down the ridge feeding on some acorns. He was out there for about a half hour. Um, and then he slipped back up into the bedding. So it's been a pretty fun hunt this morning. Hopefully, uh, comes back out and we get an opportunity at him. Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> Dude, didn't even have time to get out of the camera. We were sitting here talking about how we were gonna, <laughs> how we, how we forgot the SD card for the one trail camera that we wanted to set up down there for the buck that we saw earlier, and I just shot my first buck down in Ohio. Oh my God! It's I don't know. It's probably nine nine thirty in the morning, and he's down. 30 yards. We were just, we were just talking. I mean, that's crazy. I, I am so pumped. I can't believe that didn't, that just happened. 
I mean, what a way to start out the season. Dude, I like looked up and I was like, oh, oh shit. So, this is where you shot him? Yeah, my arrow's right here. Oh, yeah? Oh, look at that zombie somewhere. Covered. Dude. Uh. Yeah, big old seven. Dude, that's sweet for my first Ohio deer. Yeah, that's a lot like Mark's, isn't it? Yeah. A lot. <laughs> that's a good deer. Yeah. So happy with him. I mean, dude, for my first deer in Ohio, that's awesome. Dude, look, he's full. Just got done making a rub. It's full of a bunch of tree bark. Dude, that's a stud. I mean, dude, what a crazy story. Me and Ted came in here uh, this morning. I had hung the stand yesterday afternoon and hunted it, and I knew it was coming back this morning. And uh, so Ted came in this morning to film me with the stand on his back, threw that up, and we were, uh, we were watching about five or six does this morning, and then we had another nice 10 point over this way, about 75 yards that was eaten on the acorns for a while, and then, uh, they, they all left after a little bit, and we were sitting in the stand, we were talking about putting up a trail camera down where that 10 point was, and then Ted looks over his shoulder and sees this deer come out of the, out of the trail right here behind you, and he, uh, literally, he couldn't even get, grab the camera to film it, so he, he filmed it off of his phone, and uh, we saw him for about, literally a total of 20 seconds before I shot him, and then he ran about 35, 40 yards maybe, and tipped over, and here he is. My first uh, Ohio deer, which I am super stoked about, and uh, I'll be back for more. up opening weekend we had a great weekend as you can see here and I'll just sort of give you a little quick brief recap on what happened we all went out Saturday morning did not really have that great of a morning Pat and CJ saw some stuff me and Vince did not see anything so at night it was gonna be like eight I think it was 84 last night 86 84 and we decided to do a spot and stalk me and Vince and that turned up with nothing besides seeing a doe and two fawns when we turned on the truck lights so this morning we get up and I didn't have an alarm going. Everybody woke me up. I was the last one up and I had no idea where I was going to hunt this morning. So we sort of changed it up and I was like, hey, Vince, go film Pat. I'm going to go with CJ and hopefully get on a deer. And uh, I will just sort of let CJ break it down on how this all, all went down. Yeah, so... Uh... Saturday morning we came down, hung up a set, uh, I saw a couple deer down the ridge, so I slid down the ridge, and then uh, hunted it last night, saw a bunch of does, left the stand up last night, uh, Ted came in this morning with me, hung a, hung a cameraman stand, and uh, saw, we saw a nice 10 point down there, we saw a couple does, and then they scooted off, and then me and Ted were actually talking about, we wanted to go hang a trail, a trail camera down by where that 10 point was, and then uh, while we were talking about that, Ted had the camera down, and literally this guy popped up over my shoulder, so... He filmed it with his iPhone, and here we are. And CJ thought I was joking the whole time. Yeah. I was like, dude, there's a big buck behind you. Don't move. And it was at 20 yards already. Yeah. And it was just sort of a, it was one of those mornings that if something could go wrong, it went wrong, <laughs> especially Pat taking the wrong trail down to a stand on public land and uh, taking Vince on a wild ride and then taking a nap and not telling us. Um, but we were curious on why they weren't getting back to us. So... Um, <laughs> 
But then I get into the stand and I thought CJ had his camera mount. I didn't have my camera mount, so I was free arming in my camera. And then my battery was dead, so luckily I just threw a new battery into my camera. And then CJ saw, sees this dough pop up, and it was just sort of just a complete shoot. Chaos. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. Uh, but it was amazing, and it just happened so fast.